Hey guys, Matt from Electric All Wheel. We had a request from a couple of our subscribers, one from TikTok, one from YouTube. Please do the event in Solterra next. So, we shall oblige. We have a Solterra from one of our locals. Uh, just so you know, the recommended battery, 36 volt, it comes in a bag like this. This one is a 48 because this is our most common use, but this will fit, so we'll mock this up with this battery. And then I have a 36 volt battery that we will proof the concept with so you can see it operate from something separate from the factory battery, which I have re removed from the bike itself. Have it already? Give us a like and subscribe. We're just gonna get right into it. So this housing is very, very tight. Controller placement with the cables. It looks like this will be an external hookup for this dual battery discharge balance kit. All right. So of note right now, straight away, is the fact that this hookup is bullet connectors. We are going to disconnect the battery plate and then just go ahead and get our kit a bullet connector adapter and plug it in. All right, so we have our plate with the adapter for the battery, the factory battery. And then we are going to need to get our cables run up through here. So for this connection, we're gonna have the discharge balancer external to the frame. So we need a connection from the discharge out from the discharge balancer to the controller here. So that means we need to convert our controller cables which are the bullet as we've discussed. So that's set, the controller is ready.
Okay, so we have the controller in. You need to be conscious of where your screw holes are. We're going to attempt to put the screws in the back of this plate first and then make sure and align them here. We did want to make sure to pull out all of the slack from your cabling as you run it up through and then get it connected with your bullet connectors into your Solterra. I did disconnect the cable to the motor so that I could get some enough slack out of the wiring so that I could pull the controller out. So as an initial test, all I'm going to do is connect these. So all I did was complete the loop here just to test the bike. It is on. The brakes do work. You can see the brake lights light up. Let me go ahead and give it some throttle. Motor is working. Everything is in good order for original functionality. Okay, so we have our tester battery. I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in. This is a 36 volt battery um, that we use on another one of our bikes that we have. So it's just here in convenience. So I'm going to use this to test the capabilities of the balancer. Disconnect my cabling that I've run. Go ahead and plug it in. There's no real way to mess this up. We made sure that the alignment is correct already. So we know that this is factory battery. We're gonna go ahead and leave this loose. That's the factory battery cable. This is discharge out to the controller. And then we're gonna take our tester battery and plug it in. So then we're gonna, we've done discharge out to the controller. This is the balancer, which is external. We're going to go ahead and plug that in. And this is our tester battery. Now let's check for power. So I need to make sure this key is on. There we go. And there we have it. The wheel is spinning, so we know we have power there. And that's just one battery. This is the factory battery hookup cable. So we know that's good. Now we'll test this through the balancer as well. You know that's good so this is our tester battery it is out we are now on factory battery with this external to the frame so we know everything works we are live so we're just going to take this cabling run it up through the side and then for this application, we are actually going to suggest getting an extra set of the XT60 extension cables. There we go. And remember that this is a 48 volt battery, but the bag is the same as what you'll get for the recommended 36 volt. And then I'll just show you the hookup and how it works. As always, I like to string my cables. And then strap them with this Velcro from the recommended battery. Nope. 
So we have our two cables coming from inside the frame. We're going to hook up to the discharge balancer. And this one will actually plug in to your bag battery connection. Here, I'm not going to plug this in because this is a 48, but the principle is still the same. You would just plug it in and then you would be live. And then I'm going to take all of these and then just fit them, all the excess wire into the bag. And there you have it. All right, so we have it hooked up. Everything is good to go. Uh, this is what the application will look like. I know that this is a 48 volt battery, so don't get confused by the 36 it has the same bag it is everything that you're going to need it's an external application so you're running the wires outside the frame of the bike it's pretty tight but this is to be expected this is a very lightweight ultra ultra sleek frame it's a great bike the aventon solterra it's really nice I hope you guys like it. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Give us a like and subscribe. Check out our YouTube, Facebook. Give us some love on Instagram because we know we need it. Uh, we will have some more coming. So if you have any requests, email us at electricallwheelgmail.com and we will talk to you next time.